We previously made a video on wandering atrial pacemakers, and someone recently asked me what the difference was between a multifocal atrial tachycardia and a wandering atrial pacemaker. The simple answer is nothing really. The only thing that differs between these two is the heart rate. Here is a rhythm strip of someone in a multifocal atrial tachycardia rhythm. And here, you'll notice P waves, which all have different shapes or morphologies. These different shapes indicate a different site of origin of electrical atrial depolarization. This is a defining characteristic of this arrhythmia. That is, electrical activity going through the heart originates from different atrial ectopic foci, hence the name multifocal atrial tachycardia. This is in contrast to normal sinus rhythm, where the origin of electrical depolarization is always in the sinoatrial node, reflected on your rhythm strip as P waves with only one morphology. The cause of ectopic atrial foci are many, but almost 60% of cases are associated with significant lung disease. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, is the most commonly associated lung disorder with multifocal atrial tachycardias. But you could also see this rhythm in cases of pneumonia or pulmonary embolisms. You could also see this rhythm in cardiac pathology, such as in people with coronary artery disease, poorly controlled hypertension, and congestive heart failure. Keep in mind that most people who are found to have this rhythm on their EKG are often asymptomatic or complaining of symptoms related to the primary pathology causing it. Very rarely do we see multifocal atrial tachycardias by itself deteriorate into hemodynamically unstable cardiac arrhythmias. The next thing to notice is that ventricular rate is irregular. You might even be tempted to call this atrial fibrillation at first. However, the difference between this rhythm and atrial fibrillation is that with atrial fibrillation, there's really no identifiable P wave. Whereas in multifocal atrial tachycardia, you can reliably see the progression of depolarization from atria to ventricles. Because the pathophysiology between wandering atrial pacemakers and multifocal atrial tachycardias is the same, the only differentiating criteria between these is heart rate. In cases where heart rate is greater than 100 beats per minute, we call these multifocal atrial tachycardias. And when heart rate is less than 100 beats per minute, these rhythms are called wandering atrial pacemakers. So in summary, multifocal atrial tachycardias are defined by two characteristics. The first is that there should be at least three distinctly different P waves, which is the result of the action potentials originating from different atrial ectopic foci. And the second is that ventricular rate should be greater than 100 beats per minute.